hi everyone welcome back to the angular project series and in this video we will learn about how we can add the routing is in our project so in the previous two videos we learned that how we can install the angular postman and the json server so that we can make the apis and integrate them everything after that in the second videos we learned that how we can just test the apis on the postman what is the get post put search delete method and all all right so this is basically the third video and in this video we will add the routing for every operation like how we can just uh, add the uh, restaurants and update the restaurant so for that we need a specific url all right and we will make some different different url for the different different task like for the add we will uh, add operation delete operation search operation update operation login registration let's make everything separately on a separate url with the routing like right? so uh, i need a component for the all operation so i will add uh, around three and f uh, two more five components so that every component will be open on the different url so if you don't know what is the component then you can watch over the another uh, tutorial video link is also given in the, in the description otherwise you don't need about actually such, such kind of things actually so this is a very uh, simple thing you will can just understand uh, simply by the exam uh, watching the example also right so let's make the components with the ng g4 generate component in the component name so let's say i'm just going to add the uh, url with the component with the add resto name just write here add resto and you can see that we got a component here in the src app and let's make it refresh now you can see that all right so now let's uh, some more routes also so just shoot here use here update resto all right then let's see how we can just uh, list resto and make some more like login and after the login we can also make like uh, register just hit it all right so all five components are ready for uh, making the route so now let's go in the app dot routing dot module dot js and let's add some routes here so first of all let's import all the files so just right here so i'm just going to hide it so that uh, we can just uh, see the widescreen right import something from and here we put the path like uh, add restaurant and with the add restaurant component so just right here add restaurant component so with the same way just also import something from the list component so like this now let's come for the third one yep, update component add get the update component from here get the login also like this uh, login login component and let's import the login component and at the last just right here import something from uh, registration register component and let's get the register component from here so all we got uh, the imp uh, components here now let's make the routes for making the routes we have to define the routes inside the routes url so let's make a object here in the object we will define the two things one is the component name so let's say my component name first of all add restraint and we will open this component on a specific path so let's define the path name also like add so let's make some copies here five copies two three four five so that we can just define the routes for all so now let's uh, use the list restaurant and here we can just define here list now we can uh, just simply add here update route update component on uh, update route let's just define here login component on the login path and 
रिश्ते but I actually done wrong here just uh, write again okay register component on a register path all right all restaurant uh, all routes are done here now let's uh, define the links for them for that we have to go on the app root component dot HTML here is already some dummy stuff is written here this is the dummy stuff so I can just simply remove this complete stuff from here and let's add h1 tag with uh, some name like restaurant app resto app like this so we will just make some good style after this video in the next video we will add the bootstrap and navigation var and all so just for the moment in this video we will just define the link and all right so now let's let's use a jewel ally and just define a link and in the a link just define the router link in the router link we can also define here um, router link like uh, uh, add for add restaurant just write here respell here add restaurant then we can make some more links so let's test it is it working on this click the URL is changing but nothing to show here because I will tell you that this is why this is not working because we have to add here uh, router outlet so just define a router outlet like this and now it will work here now you can see that we are able to see this one so let's make some more urls here two three four five and just make here update and we can also define here update and let's make a list mm, list restaurant and uh, here we can just define here login just right here login it cannot be restaurant so login user all right so now we can add a uh, mm -mm -mm, register like or we can just write here like this all right so now let's save it and let's see what we are getting okay so register uh, restaurant is not good because we have already have add restaurant so just write here register user all right so whenever I'm just going to click on the add, it will show me the add route uh, component because here you can find that in the every HTML file, we will just find this line only, all right? So we're just going to look on the re uh, register, you will find the register work here, like this. You can see it here. Okay, so just let me check the URL for the last one. Uh -uh. What's so wrong with it? Mm, let me check. Is there some issue with it? Yeah. So actually, I was just using the wrong URL. Now it's a login, list, update. Every URL is working fine. The upcoming video, we will add the bootstrap, and these menus will be placed in a navigation bar, and everything will be. Uh, looking nice with the style so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care